So while I was just chilling on Warframe, just testing some builds and stuff, my buddy reminded me that there were new augment mods added. Ones for uh, Sevagoth, there was one for Protea, Dagath, and Corvex. And I remembered I actually bought the Protea one for uh, Temporal Artillery, which is her Blaze Artillery augment. Basically, what it does is, is when you activate your Temporal Anchor, when you cast your Blaze Artillery, you will have a turret latch on to your line of sight and will get a max combat count of 20, but its duration will halt. Meaning as long as it's there, it keeps firing until your Temporal Anchor ends. So you're basically trying to make a build that focuses on using duration and strength. So we have Archon Continuity, but you can replace this with Prime Continuity, Blind Rage, Stretch, Streamline, and Boreal's Hatred to counteract the negative efficiency from Blind Rage. Archon Vitality to boost uh, Blaze Artillery's heat damage. Obviously the Augment. Prime Flow for the, just that bit more of an energy increase. Uh, power, power Drift just for a bit more ability strength. And you can replace this um, aura to be whatever you like. Bolt Augmented to make Blaze Artillery and Temporal Anchor just that much stronger. Same thing with uh, Dispensary and Grenade Fan. And Arcane Energize to pick up, well, more energy because... Sadly, with negative energy you, uh, efficiency, you'll still have problems getting energy if you're not being conscious of it. I run two Archon Shards, but obviously uh, two Reds, but none of these are required. Literally none of them. So I'll get some enemies ready, and I'll show off the build, and then we'll go to Steel Path. All right, so I went ahead and spawned a couple of varieties of enemies. We have the Orokin, we have some Grenier, some Corpus, some Infested, and some Murmur. So the way the, art, uh, the Augment works is you pop your our uh, Temporal Anchor, and then you press your Blazer Tilly. And as you see, he latches onto my side, and well... Obviously, it, it, the turret will do what the turret's meant to do at times 20. It's just going to start shooting. And based off what I can tell is it does pay attention to where you're looking. But at the same time, it kind of tries to locate roughly where an enemy is and will keep trying to shoot in that general area. But as you can see, the turret slightly moves with how you look. But obviously, these are just simulacrum enemies. So I'm going to go to a survival where this augment obviously like excels because, well, it's meant for you to run around and keep shooting. So... I'll get my build ready, have uh, have Recruit join us, and I'll see y'all in Path. And well, here we are. So I brought along Recruit to just be a little bit of a priming buddy. Oh god, I completely forgot. I don't have energy for this. But once we get energy, you'll see me proc Temporal Anchor and stuff like that. Basically, the Augment, as far as I can tell whenever I was reading it, seems to be purely based off taking full advantage of running and gunning a ton. Because if you're not running and gunning with it, it seems like it really just doesn't have a location for it. Because as you can see, at the bottom of my screen, my temporal anchor is like filling up. And once it, well, completely gets full, or I'm sorry, my duration runs out, or I press four, I explode. Whenever the person explodes, you deal slash damage in that area. So you can just kind of build it up and then just pop at the end of like your combo chain. It also does take advantage of Protea's passive, which is after every fourth ability, you get 100 ability strength. So this does even like more damage. The implosion does. Same thing with Blaze Artillery, stuff like that. So it does stack easily with each other. So you can just proc it, run around with it, and just keep going. And there you got another explosion. As you see, it's not that bad. It's also really good at keeping you alive because Temporal Anchor is like a get out of jail free card. Because as soon as you like die inside of it, you just reset back to where you started, which makes it really, really strong. That's why I really love Protea. Protea has such a, a variety in her like moveset that you can basically play however you feel uh, fits her. But a downside is, as you saw, I just picked up a ton of energy and got none of it. Try not to pick up too much energy inside your temporal anchor, or you just won't get it whenever you come back out of it, which is kind of a, it, it's like a double-edged sword basically, but this is just the start. I'm gonna keep going and try to get an Acolyte spawn. I'll see y'all when it spawns. I mean, look at that. Here's a really good example of how good the uh, the augment got. I was just running around pressing my uh, temporal artillery uh, and using my four. And I saw I had like a five million temporal anchor and that just exploded the entire room over there. So it's really, really good for crowd control. It's not, it's just not, um, not that bad. Like, look, as see, I can just walk around. They just all burn alive. And my temporal at the bottom keeps gaining more and more damage. I move to a side and just explode and a ton of enemies die. But once again, I'll see you whenever the uh, Acolyte spawns. All right. And the Acolyte is his, is his, is here. We got, oh, we got Misery. It's not the worst. So proc my four, put on Temporal Anchor. And as you see, I can just now run around, not have to worry about him. I can just look at him. And Anchor will hit him for me. Go help my dog. 
And now the artillery still does a ton of good damage. And on top of that, I can exploit if I need to. So it's still a really good augment, but there is a comparison I did see from somebody that said it's Zaku with a with more steps and I can kind of see it, but uh, I will see y'all back in my uh, orbiter. I'm just going to have a lot of fun killing a ton of these enemies. Cause like, look at this. I can keep casting it too. It's not nothing stopping me from spamming my abilities. Look at that temporal anchor at 10 million. It's amazing. Just pop. Everything dies. All right, but I'll see you on the uh, orbiter. All right. So the final build for the turret build with the augment is right here on screen. So when it comes to using this augment, do I think it's the go to option for probably not? If you want to have a lot of fun with temporal anchor, this this mod can do it. But I'd still think you would rather use temporal erosion. And overall, if you want to have uh, uh, quite a variety, you could also use my sentient build I have. But that's a separate video. But I want to discover these. So when it comes to her two augments that I use, because I'm be honest, I don't see anyone using repair dis uh, dispensary. I think overall temporal erosion is better than temporal artillery, but they do have they do both have a place in a build. Both are very fun to use and both have their options. This one's good for armor strip, even though now sadly this one may get replaced as not being good since armor got changed. But this one's not that bad at all. It's quite fun. I liked using it and it wasn't that bad. So tell me in the comments which ones y'all want to see me do yes. You want me to see next? Yes, I'm having a stroke, I think. Which one do you want to see me do next? We got Sevagos. I don't have him anymore. Crap. We got Corvexes and we do have Daggets. I have both of those and I still use both of them quite often. So tell me in the comments down below on that. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe. And once again, tell me in the comments what you want to see next. I do appreciate it. And well, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.